by and large, plant-based foods, even ones that have some natural sugars in them, actually help reduce the risk of cancer. You, it was shocking how effective the green tea polyphenols were in stopping those blood vessels that were feeding the cancer. Today, we're diving into an incredibly important topic, the top foods that can heal your body and prevent cancer. And who better to guide us than the acclaimed Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned physician, scientist, and author. Dr. William Lee is a pioneer in the field of medical research, particularly in understanding how certain foods can combat disease. His groundbreaking work has shown that our diet can be our most powerful weapon in maintaining health. So, let's delve into the top foods he recommends for healing and prevention. I'll tell you that although there is um, natural fruit sugars in a piece of fruit, the reality is, is when you eat a piece of fruit, an apple, a pear, a peach, something sweet, um, a grape, you are getting a lot more than the fructose in your body. You are getting fiber, you are getting polyphenols, you're getting uh, all these other micronutrients, many of which can actually fight the cancer itself. So think about this aquarium that's got fish that you want to keep. These are your pets. And it's also got um, overgrowth of algae, you know, like that completely overgrows the tank. And that algae is going to kill the fish, right? You get enough gunk growing in that tank, you're going to kill the fish. So what can you actually do to clean up that tank? You want to get rid of the algae, but you don't want to kill the fish. That's really probably the best analogy of this microenvironment situation in any organ that we have in our body, where you want to get rid of the cancer cells, but you don't want to actually um, uh, kill the healthy cells. Well, it turns out that cancers are exquisitely sensitive to um, uh, the blood vessels, as I, as I told you. And if you cut off the blood supply to um, cancer, uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, lowering the bubbling, uh, the, the air system into the aquarium. So you got enough just for the fish, but not enough for the for the algae to grow. Uh, and the body knows how to make that diff diff difference. So for example, blood vessels that are feeding normal cells are really well constructed. Like a like a think about a house that the architect really made really strong. It's got good pilings. It's got good infrastructure. The frame is really solid. The windows are really nailed down tightly. And a cancer when it grows blood vessels to it doesn't do it really well. So that's like a crappy contractor that, that cut all the corners. And so basically the house, the, the blood vessel system feeding the cancer is like a like a crappy house. When the hurricane comes, okay, guarantee you that the vessels that are feeding the cancer are going to come flying apart. But the ones that are feeding the healthy cells, the well-constructed ones are going to stick around. They're going to outlast the storm. And that's basically what we can actually do with anti-angiogenic drugs. Now, foods can do the same thing. There are many things in foods, these bioactives we talked about, that, you know, Mother Nature laced into plants, you know, kind of like Mother Nature's pharmacy with an F, can actually help to mow the lawn and get that, tame those blood vessels so that if they're growing towards the cancer, you can kind of prune them back, trim them back to normal, and it prevents the cancer from growing new ones, which is really, really important. For cancer prevention, that's just having enough of that milieu to prevent blood vessels from overgrowing. Um, is really can be really important. So what are some of the things? Green tea, um, uh, you know, which everybody knows as antioxidants, which can actually lower your blood uh, sugars, um, help to lower your cholesterol, lower your um, stress levels, your catecholamine, actually is super packed with these catechins, EGCG, one of the main polyphenol that is anti-androgenic. So way back when, when I got in this field, we had a test system where we were testing cancer drugs that could starve a cancer by cutting off its blood supply. And on and I, one of the things that I did is I actually dropped some green tea in there and you it was shocking how effective the green tea polyphenols were in stopping those blood vessels that were feeding the cancer. Uh, and in fact, if I didn't tell the technician doing the lab work that it was actually a natural compound um, and I told them it came from a drug company, they would have like, they would have been super excited about it and started jumping up and down. And so again, you know, Mother Nature is really, really um, good. So uh, polyphenols and tea, uh, EG, CG is one of them. Um, resveratrol, red wine, also another one um, that's actually really, really powerful uh, in terms of uh, being anti-androgenic. Uh, genistein, the phytoestrogen in soy, actually can also cut off the blood supply feeding breast cancer. So it's just the opposite of the urban legend out there that soy is not good for you. I recently saw an article, it was a cover of a magazine that said, 
you know, soy anti-nutrients or something like that. And I, you know, like I, 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 my mind was blown that somebody could actually say that because most of the nutrients, including the proteins, but also the phytoesters and soy, again, you know, if you're a scientist, you take a look at this um, and the phytoestrogens look nothing like human estrogens. They're not dangerous. They actually block human estrogens and they actually are also anti-angiogenic and they cut off the blood supply to breast cancers. And this has been shown in human patients, breast cancer patients uh, as well. Um, tomatoes have lycopene. So many of the, you know, the same foods that we know are good, healthy, plant-based sources of nutrition, we're now rediscovering that many of the bioactives in them are also powerful cancer blood vessel cut cutting off systems that cut off the, that starve, can, that starve a tumor. This is my area of research. I can tell you that, that without a blood supply, those cancers are tiny, pinpoint. The moment that uh, cancer can hijack blood ves vessels, angiogenesis, that the blood vessels grow right up to the tumor, feed it, okay, like an organ, and that cancer can grow 16,000 times in just two weeks, all right? It's explosive. It's like a trigger for cancer to grow. The good news is that there are more than 100 different foods that I wrote about in my book and are in tables and charts um, that are anti-androgenic. They enhance your body's ability to cut off the blood supply feeding cancers. And that's part of the research I've done at the National Cancer Institute. Um, some of these um, foods, by the way, include tomatoes. So you've heard about tomatoes and you know, they're nightshade fruit and they've got lectins. Move that, that that's that's all kind of like good thought, wrong idea. Um, tomatoes, I'm gonna show you one. Tomatoes, okay, actually have lycopene. They are healthy to eat. All the human studies, human studies, not animal studies, show you that um, tomatoes actually can reduce the risk of uh, different types of cancers, including prostate and breast. If you can't actually get um, a, a whole fresh tomato, Guess what? You can order this. This is actually just a tube of tomato paste. Uh, and San Marzano tomatoes, which are from Italy, have the highest levels of lycopene. All right. So, um, by the way, a clinical study of 36,000 men showed that eating tomatoes, cooked tomatoes, can reduce the risk of prostate cancer by almost 30% and by breast cancer by about 20% all due to this cancer starving properties. Well, you'll be happy to know that I got a list of foods called Grand Slammers. So these foods activate all five of the health defense systems in one fell swoop, one shot. So let me just read some of them to you. Apricots, mangoes, peaches, carrots, eggplant, kale, green tea, walnuts, squid ink. Here, that's someone from left field. You know that like squid ink pasta, black pasta? That it's the, the ink is actually from what the uh, squid uses, like an octopus, to squirt into the water to escape from a predator. That's actually used in Mediterranean cultures. Um, it's a delicious. I, I really love it. Love it to cook with it. That also uh, activates all of your body's health defense systems. Okay, so those are some of the grand slammers. Our bodies have an amazing ability to heal themselves, and what we eat plays a big part in boosting this natural healing process. By adding specific foods to our diet, we can not only fuel our bodies, but also help prevent and even reverse diseases. That's it, everyone. Four amazing food categories that can heal your body and help prevent disease, all thanks to Dr. William Lee's expert advice. Remember, a healthy diet is your best defense against illness. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and tell us in the comments which foods you're excited to try. Thanks for watching, and stay healthy.